We are lucky to have women and men who are willing to put themselves between us and evil every single day. Two IMPD officers are recovering this morning in the hospital after being attacked by a man. We now know from a police report the suspect is 20 years old. Both officers were stabbed after first responding to a 911 call. The injured officers then shot that suspect. We have team coverage for you this morning. Our Justin Kolar and Eric Pointer are live. Justin, let's start with you with what is the very latest from police? Yeah, good morning, guys. We had an opportunity to speak with IMPD Assistant Chief just before that scene cleared over there on the north side of town. We're now here at IU Methodist Hospital. That's where the suspect who attempted to murder those offices, those officers was taken. That's where we are right now. We spoke with them and they say that their officers were attacked completely unprovoked by that 20 year old male suspect who actually called 911 asking for officer support. Now that uh, suspect is expected to make a full recovery here at IU Methodist Hospital. But back when officers first got to 1400 block of Fairfield Avenue near 38th Street, they tried to help the man who called them, who said he was being harassed by someone down the street. He then pointed officers in the direction of a vacant home, and when those officers turned to approach it, they were both stabbed, one in the neck and the other in the chest. Those brave officers then fired their weapons at the suspect after he wouldn't follow their verbal commands. Assistant Chief Chris Bailey says they're taking a close look this morning into the suspect's history. We'll, we'll dive deep into what kind of uh, interactions we've had, what kind of criminal history uh, the suspect has, and then uh, make that known at a later time. I'm very proud of this police department. I'm proud of the officers. We are lucky. Now, we won't get another update from officers this morning as the scene there had cleared, but we do know, according to a police report, he's been preliminary charged, the suspect has, with two counts of attempted murder. Both of those injured officers, one of them a 20-year veteran, they were taken to Eskenazi Health by other officers, and we are learning more about their condition at Eskenazi Health this morning. That's where our own Eric Pointer joins us this morning. Eric, what's the latest on those officers' conditions? Well, thanks, Justin. So we know that one officer was stabbed in the neck and the other was stabbed in the chest. Now, one officer recently got out of surgery and we're told that he will likely be here a few days, while the other might be released later today. After the officers were injured, other officers on scene treated them, gave them first aid, and then brought them here to the hospital. And we also know that the police officer support team is here assisting the injured officers, their families, and the support officers who brought them here. The assistant chief describes their efforts as heroic and as far as the investigation we know that the critical incident response team alongside of the Marion County Prosecutor's Office will be investigating and there will also be a separate administrative investigation by Eternal Affairs Division of the police and I did reach out to ask for an update on their conditions and I was told that they will try to get my questions answered once they're able to give another briefing. Live here in front of Eskenazi, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News.